Hello, this is a tutorial for um, helping students with their workflow of getting into Schoology, accessing information, and then making a task list of things you need to do each day during distance learning. Uh, some of you have these bookmarked. If you're on a different computer at home, you may not. So just a reminder, to get into Schoology, you need to start at the school website, isd110.org, and then click on My Accounts to get to the Omni ID portal. If your password's not saved, again, first name, last name, lunch number with the two zeros and click sign in. And then you can click Schoology from there. If you're on a different computer and you wanna get that bookmarked, feel free. If it's already bookmarked and you try to bookmark it again, it'll tell you where you put it. All right, so now I'm in Schoology. Uh, each day, you're gonna have a lot of updates, you're gonna have a lot of events, you're gonna have a bunch of courses. So um, something that can be really helpful for you when you're in Schoology is to go through each one of your courses one by one, figure out what you need to do, and then make a task list. So for example, uh, maybe I have band today. I need to go into my band course. I need to see if there's any new materials added. I need to click on the updates and read any updates that have been posted. And I also need to check the calendar to see if I have events or tests and quizzes or assignments I need to be working on. If you see something on here that you need to take note of, for example, uh, the band kids right now are using a new piece of software called Smart Music, you have a couple options for writing this down. Some of you are fine with having a pencil paper checklist, but I did want you to know about two tools you can use. One is Google Keep. It's as simple as typing in keep.google.com. It does have an app you can install if you wanna to go to the app store and install Google Keep, but really um, it's just as easy to go to keep.google.com and then bookmark that. And this is a digital note-taking tool for you. So I could type in, my first thing I need to do is for band, and I need to install and try out Smart Music Program. And I can hit close and that note is now pinned. If that is not a tool you think you wanna use, but maybe you wanna use Google Calendars, I know a lot of you have Schoology synced to your Google Calendar, so you may have all of your assignments on here. When you're in your Google Calendar, there is a task tool there as well that you may not have noticed. So on the right side, there is a blue circle that says tasks. You can do the same thing in here. So again, I have my band assignment. I have my tasks loaded. All I have to do is click get started and type in my first task. So I am typing for band again, smart music, test, install and test software. And then when I click out of it, that is now on my task list. And all I have to do when I finish it is check it as complete and then it'll disappear from my list. So keep that in mind, um, getting to Schoology each day. Some of you are gonna sign in right away at eight o'clock figure out what live classes you need to go to. That would be a great thing to put on your note. If a live class is taking place at a certain time, you may wanna add that to your Google Calendar so you don't forget. I have a live meeting in science. I could plop that on my calendar so I don't forget to go to that. I could add it as a task too if I need to remember that. And then to access that uh, I'm just going to pretend it's for my homeroom and we're having a hangout at noon tomorrow. I need to go into that class in Schoology and on the events on the right side, that's where the teacher is going to have the link posted, possibly to their updates. So workflow from Schoology, starting at the Omni ID portal, signing into Schoology from the portal, going through each one of my classes and making a daily to-do list, what I need to do, when I need to do it, can really help you stay organized. And if all of this technology is stressing you out and you don't want to use digital notes, then you need to get yourself a notebook and a pen or a pencil and you need to make yourself a checklist each day and you need to mark off the stuff as you're finishing it so you know when you're done for the day.